Hello guys, it's Steve from SEO Link Robot. In this video, I'll go through how to create a new campaign. This option here, we don't want to import anything at the moment, we're just going to create a new campaign, so we click yes. Call a campaign, link, robot, x. As you can see, it's created new campaign, but there's no data. So the first thing we need to do is click the auto gen data button in the toolbar and choose a male or female data. I'll choose male data and we'll watch us getting scraped and auto inserted. As we can see, it's scraping some names. So we we'll pick that name there. In the bio, all about internet marketing. As you can see, if we click on the campaign data, it's auto inserted. First name, last name, username, which is spinnable. You can set this to whatever spinnable text you want. You can put keywords in there if you wished. A random password, and that's it. I pause the video for a second so I could fill in the main URL, anchor text. Note that the anchor text is spinnable, so we use spinnable syntax in this field. If you have more than one set of anchor text you want to spin, we put our keywords in, our category. I initially picked marketing for internet market, but I want a secondary category of business, so with business, possibly finance. And set these by commas, but I'll just have business and marketing. Add a description, which you can also spin. And I've created a temporary blog on a site that has zero links on. And I've created two posts on that site. And I'll use that as the as the base site for the demonstration. We have our POS3 email settings, which we set up, and we can test those by clicking the mail test email settings. And as you can see, that's worked fine. Within this screen, we have several options. We will add campaign, we can explicitly save the campaign, delete the campaign, email. We can verify emails, we can test our email settings, we can import and export account data from text files. So if you want to import data in, if you export out an empty file, fill in the details and import it back in, that's the easiest way to do it, to get the correct format. We have an import wizard, if you're upgrading from version 1 to version 2 where you can import all your profiles, all your accounts, all your links. We have a link viewer, which you can view all the links that's connected to a campaign. You can also add links, delete links, and verify that your links still exist. We've actually got a proxy manager as well, where you can add in proxies. And we've got an account creator. The account creator in the pro edition of the software is automated and within this section you can create all accounts and this will create all of the accounts in all for all the campaign which you can see we've got quite a few in here we will go through and it will create all of these accounts but what we will do for this is we will create a number of accounts for each maybe five accounts for this this demo tutorial and we'll use them throughout so first what I'll do is I'll choose five sites and create the accounts on those sites for each of the sections so I'll pick five sites as an example I'll choose bookmark Tracker, link list, 
Diego, Reddit, and and Gary Posh. And we'll we can choose to create all the bookmark accounts, which will select all of the accounts in here and create all of them. But I just want to create a selected amount of accounts, which I've highlighted with the ticks. So we'll click create bookmark accounts selected. As you can see, the browser opens. We post using HTTP, the browser and API. Note in the capture breaking area, if you get a username failure, you need to check that you still have credits for the service you're actually using and that the service isn't down. As you can see, it's doing blinkless now. What I'll do now, I'll pause the video while it creates the rest of these. Welcome back. What I've done, I've actually went through and I've created a random selection of accounts in each area. I've created, as you can see, five bookmarking accounts. I've created the one RSS account. The rest of the RSS directories don't need accounts to be posted to. I've created about seven Web 2.0 accounts, seven article direct accounts, and nine press release accounts. The next thing we need to do is actually verify the confirmation emails that these sites actually send out. So verify emails. As we can see, we, we simply click the start verification process. The service logged into. Emails are downloaded. And now they have been verified. As you can see, we've got lots of email verification emails here. Some don't need verification, but the majority of the sites do require this. And the data itself is actually output in case any of these file are need to be rechecked. These are also output to file. As you can see, this, this line here means there's been two password updates for two of the WordPress article sites, which I'll show you now. Good article directory. As you can see, we've got two of the passwords are different from the standard password. This is because these are WordPress article sites and these sites send out the, the randomized password via email. The software picks this up and updates the profile. So in the article section itself, as you can see, we've got SLR sites and WP sites. In total, there's about 45 to 50 sites in the software. And the WordPress sites can be added in manually if you have your own site list to expand this list this will be expanded to article friendly article dashboard and article ms over the upcoming updates and that is the campaign manager